A source with knowledge of the communication between Carrier and the Trump administration tells CNN they have moved beyond discussion to actual negotiations. But the source stopped short of saying what exactly is being negotiated. At Sully's Bar and Grill just across from the Carrier plant in Indiana, chilies on the lunch menu served with a heavy side of skepticism. I will believe it when I see it. Carrier workers just off the morning shift say Trump's Thanksgiving Day tweet is the talk of the plant and beyond. It was all on the social media. Working hard even on Thanksgiving, trying to get Carrier AC company to stay in U.S., Trump posted. Referring to the heating and cooling giant's plans to shut down this Indianapolis factory, moving it, along with close to 2,000 jobs, to Mexico. Making progress, Trump went on. We'll know soon. But Carrier's response, also on Twitter, was less optimistic. Had discussions with the incoming administration, it said. Nothing to announce at this time. If negotiations have become serious, there's one group that expects to be hearing about them. United Steelworkers Local 1999. It represents close to 1,400 of the factory's workers. Have you heard of any negotiations or discussions? Have you heard anything beyond the tweet? Uh, no, uh, we haven't heard from Carrier or uh, the, the Trump uh, people uh, concerning that, just the tweet only. Local President Chuck Jones says he was shocked by Trump's tweet and tells me if a deal can be reached, he expects his members will be asked for concessions. Would the union be flexible? What our goal is, and it always has been, to try to save uh, 1,400 people's jobs. When it comes to negotiating with Carrier, Jones knows a thing or two and suggests that Trump hit the company right where it hurts. Defense contracts. In 2014 alone, Carrier's parent company, United Technologies, won $3.39 billion worth of government contracts, working on everything from fighter jets to missile defense systems. If he's got a card to play, it would be something to the extent of, hey, you, you know, if you move these jobs to Monterey, Mexico, we're going to take a hard stand on you getting any more military contracts. You think that would get their attention? Uh, I would think it would get their attention, yeah, because you're talking about bees with the billion, you know, uh, billions. But carrier worker Edward Conway says he's not getting his hopes up. When it comes to carrier, he says that boat is already sailed. It's like a, a cruiser, a big ship that makes a turn, you know, it's not going to be able to stop in the middle of the turn, you know, so I can't see it happening. It's not that folks here are pessimists. It's that the news nine months ago that their jobs were leaving was so painful to so many, they're afraid to hope. You know, because you got a lot of people, I mean, this is going to change everybody. Not just me, not her, not, you know, everybody. Everybody's life is going to change, you know. So if, if he does it, kudos to him.